Hello everyone, my name is Shubham Pal and in this video we will learn how to create a YouTube bot using Python. What is a YouTube bot? YouTube bot is a program that automates the process of opening the web browser, entering the URL of a video and then playing the video. So we are going to automate this using a program. For this we are going to use Selenium framework. Selenium is a web automation framework which is used to automate all the tasks that we do manually on a web browser. We are going to do our project in Visual Studio Code IDE. Here we have a file named youtube.py. First of all we are going to import all the packages that would be required for our project. So we are going to import webdriver from selenium. We will import time and we will also import random to generate random numbers and we will import threading to create multiple threads we will store the path to our chrome web driver into this variable path to chrome driver We will create a variable named count in which we will store the number of web browsers that we want to run at the same time. We will define a function view video which will be passed to the thread as an argument. It will take the argument as browser. So it will run infinitely. So here is while true loop. Now with browser.get function we will pass the URL of the video. So we need to get the URL so we will go to our YouTube channel and we will take a video this is programming with Pal trailer we will just copy the URL of the video and we will paste it into the argument of the get function. Now we will put this thread to sleep so we will call time.sleep function and we will pass a random integer so random dot rand int and the range can be from 3 to 10 seconds because we need to wait for this amount of time to wait for the video to load so let's take it 5 to 10 now let us run a for loop for count number of times so it will be for i in range of count Now we will create a thread and let's name it as browser thread. So we will call the function of threading package. So it will be threading dot thread which will return us the thread and in target argument we need to pass the function that the thread will perform and in arguments we will pass the argument that that function will take in. So here we will create an instance of the web driver and also pass the argument of path to the chrome driver now we simply need to run this thread so we will call browser thread dot start function so it will start running the thread now let us run our project our chrome web browser has opened up and it's going to open the url that we just passed which is of our video so it has started to load and we see that here we have two browsers have opened up and uh, the third window should also be opening up so here yeah we have the third window as well so and now they are loading the video thank you for watching the video if you like the video do click on the like and subscribe button